Wow, check out this incredible old growth forest with all this different biodiversity, but what the heck is biodiversity and why is having a lot of it important? Well, biodiversity is the variety of different life forms in a certain ecosystem, from tiny bacteria and microbes in the soil, to fungi, plants, mosses, and big old trees like this here, to animals like frogs, squirrels, bears, wolves, and humans like you and I. It's a measure of an ecosystem's resilience, or ability to adapt to changes, its immune system in a way, and thus an ecosystem with healthy biodiversity creates a healthy and flourishing world. See, nothing on this planet exists in a silo. Life is an intricate mesh of different species living with one another, and their success depends on everything else. For example, this big western red cedar here is hundreds of years old and has developed this twisting intricate crown that provides habitat to all sorts of birds, frogs, and different species that only exist way up there on those forest canopies like certain species of lichen. And when that lichen dies, they drift down to the forest floor here where they're decomposed by insects, bacteria, and fungi. And then that fungi helps redistribute those nutrients to everything growing in the forest here like these bushes of salal and huckleberry which provide food to all these animals and even back to that red cedar so that it can continue living on to create more lichen habitat. Everything here is part of this intricate network that helps to create healthy ecological function from carbon sequestration and storage to holding soils together and managing water to purifying the air we breathe while also providing us with things like food, resources, and materials we use to survive. Biodiversity is important because the more pieces to this intricate puzzle are in place, the more adaptable and resilient ecosystems are to change from things like, I don't know, anthropogenic climate change. Without biodiversity, not only will these ecosystems and their ecological function collapse, but so will our human societies if we are wholly dependent on them. So if we want to continue living in this world tomorrow, then we need to work to preserve biological diversity today.